Hello, and welcome to this instructional short from the Zelenople Area Public Library. In this video, we'll be taking a tour of the shared online catalog for all of the Butler County Public Libraries. All right, so let's begin. As always, our first step is going to be the getting there step. So we're going to navigate to zelianopellibrary.org. So here we have it, the library's website. Although there are a few routes we can take to the online card catalog from here, we're going to go with the most direct path, which is to select the Search the Collection link under the Books tab in the main menu. Okay, we've reached our destination. But before we delve any further, let's take a quick look at the front page of the catalog first. Breaking this page down into four sections, we're going to see the following. Large images of book covers, which highlight recently added titles in the center of the screen. The ability to log into your library account with your library card in the upper right. A search bar at the top middle of the screen. And a section for links to the upper left, which include the kids catalog, a graphics based catalog, another link to ebooks and audiobooks and a third link for getting back to the other library resources. For the sake of an example in this video, we're going to presume that we'll need to be logged into our library account to get certain things done. So that's where we're going to head next. And to get into our account, we'll click the aforementioned login hyperlink in the top right of the screen. We now see a pop-up dialog box, which is requesting a library card number and a PIN number associated with that. And if you give those two correct pieces of information, we will be successfully logged in and we can proceed with searching for items and titles throughout the catalog. But as a quick aside, you are able to search for materials without logging in. That's just something we did to showcase important features for this video. Okay, so we've successfully logged in because now we're seeing a logout button in the top right. We also see a user main menu drop down box, which has important options. Yet we're gonna move on with searching for the meantime. We've put in James Patterson because that's gonna be a popular author, which will have many results. And as we see, there's 832. So we have all these results. What are we gonna do? We're going to narrow them down with some of the nice features to the left. The first one being the location feature, which if you change it to your local library, say, because you want to pick up an item that day, you'll be able to tell if it's available, which will be in green, or if it's not available, which will be in red. One last note to keep in mind about the library location feature is that you also have the ability to deselect. So take those off, we'll be left with Zelianople area, which we want in this example. So let's see what Zelianople has. And that'll take us to our next filter that we want to look at, which is format. You'll have books, ebooks, audiobooks, large print, books on CD, some movies, which is this projected media and video recording. So a lot of them actually are the same thing. You'll just want to be careful in what you select, particularly with audiobooks. Some of them are on CD, some of them come in those pre-made MP3 players. So that's just a note, but otherwise you just want to, if you're looking for a particular format, this filter here is for you. So we'll just choose a regular printed book on this example. While the library location feature and the format selection are probably going to be the most commonly used filters here, there are still some other helpful options below. In this particular author's case, you might want to see their new titles. You might want to see the other authors they are collaborating with. You might want to select from the series they're writing in. And interestingly enough, besides subject and genre, you have primary audience. And because James Patterson has been known to write kids' books, they're also in here too.
All right, so that covers the searching part of the process. Next is to demonstrate what you can do with the titles you wanted on the search list. And in that respect, there are about three choices. The first is to find it in the actual physical library with the call number given on the screen. The second is to add it to the list feature, which will serve as a reminder note of sorts that you eventually want that title. And the third is to place a hold, which is what we'll do in this example. In the meantime, however, we'll take a quick visual pause to visit the list feature. Let's return to the subject of our holds, and specifically, where do we find them after we've placed them? At any point while using the catalog, there will be an account tab at the top right of the screen. If you click on that, that becomes a drop down menu where the hold hyperlink is located. If we click on that, we will see the status and totality of all of our holds, but we also have a few other functions available to us. These include canceling suspending, and reactivating a requested material. These can be done one at a time or many at once. Since we're exploring the account menu currently, let's continue on by looking at how we can renew items. To renew our items, we need to get to the section of the website entitled Loans. And identically to the holds process we just saw, this loan section of the online catalog can be reached from the top menu on any part of the website. However, as we can see, we can reach the loans area with the link to the far left. This is because we already chose an option in the accounts menu previously. So having done that and clicking on this loans link, we would be brought to our list of already checked out materials. And there's really not too much to describe here that's not self-explanatory. Uh, the only thing to mention is just like holds, you check the boxes next to the title and you click on the option you'd want above it to the, to the right center of the screen. You can do this in the same way as with holds, uh, one at a time, all of them, or several of many. Okay, so that really only leaves one last important part to the catalog site. These are the links to the top left of the screen. So if we go from left to right, we'll see library home first. This hyperlink will take you to this site, which is a website representing all of Butler County's libraries. The next one we would have seen is eMedia library. This hyperlink will take you to OverDrive, which is a large repository of eBooks and digital audiobooks. Highly recommend that. And the last one is the kids catalog, which is the catalog, but in a fun and graphics based presentation. Essentially, it's a search by pictures catalog. Well, that does it for this introduction to the online catalog for Butler County's Federated Public Libraries. Should you have any questions or need any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask us. We'll be happy to help. Thanks.